Yep. Somebody got something on in the background? Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad, man. My bad. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. All right. So while you share it, let me start the show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are tuned into Black Westchester Presents the People Before Politics radio show, the COVID-19 home edition with your man A.J. Woodson and Damon K. Jones. Let's say what's up to people, Damon. Yo, what's up, everybody? Uh, uh, it's Sunday. Yeah, man. Our special guest for the week is our brother Jesse Van Lu, who has been behind a lot of the rallies at City Hall for lost lives, unsolved homicides, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh huh? Save Mount Vernon on Facebook. Save Mount Vernon on Facebook. What's good, Jesse? What's up, brothers? How you doing? And everybody out there on Facebook, have a great day today. Today's Sunday. God bless you. And we're going to have a great show today. Right. No doubt, no doubt. No doubt. We, we wanted to do this, like, you know, it's people before politics, and we were dealing with so much politics with the election and all that. But we want to get back to the people and, you know, um, put shed light on unsung heroes like yourself. A lot of people don't know the work you're doing. Some people heard the name but never saw the face. So we wanted to shed that spotlight on you and all that you're doing. And yesterday, you had uh, 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 your most recent rally. Tell us about that. Um, yesterday was a, a Save My Vernon rally, basically against uh, two senior citizens that were unjustly arrested a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's been a process going on in my front of the police department, continued uh, misconduct. So we wanted to put it all together, get enough speakers to come out, and let the people in the community, know, let the people hear what the people have to say. Um, basically, the rain held us back but the message went out. Um, there's something that needs to be done, has to be said, and we're going to keep going. Uh, I'm not going to let nobody turn me away or turn me around from not showing up. I'm going to call out the brothers that should have been out there. You know, it's time to take the tail between your legs, like I say right now, and bring your butts out and come on support. We need it. I, I, absolutely. I actually was one of the brothers that should have been there, but, you know, it was the anniversary of my mom's passing. I really didn't. I don't usually do nothing on that day anyway. And the other rally I was supposed to speak at, my plans got canceled, and I, I didn't leave the house. So I just didn't leave. Yes. The, yeah. You know, but I'm always. It, I'm, I'm. I'm at more than half of them. I'm not at all of them. <laughs> I'm at more than half of them. No, you know, no doubt. No doubt. Now, now, one of the things, you know, we always talk about at Black Westchester and on the on the radio show, you know. Everybody has a part to play. Everybody can play their part. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can. Everybody might not be able to do something that somebody else is doing. And 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 I say that to say, like, you was a brother who, before a lot of this, you saw stuff going. You know, like a lot of other people use about life to handling your business. You wasn't really out getting in the spotlight and doing all that before. And I, I think in a recent, in a past interview, it was. Um, when they tried to shut Cupcake Cutie down or something, you was like, yo, you know what? That's the last straw. I got to speak. You know, sometimes I just came from church today. They had the outside service. It was a beautiful thing. Yeah, I see. You know, yeah. they, they have a saying, like, what the enemy means for bad, um, God uses for good. Like, the, that previous ministry tried to shut the Cupcake Cutie boutique down at, to get back at us. Mm -hmm. And all it did was ignite a lot of people, yourself included. You know what I'm saying? And and then that from that point, you know, talk about how you came about the whole start Mount Vernon thing and all that. Yeah, we started. Um, I reached out to Damon, um, basically with Thomas, um, doing all everything that was going on. Um, me sitting back and I said, you know what, it's a time for somebody to stand up and speak. You know, I tried to rally a couple of people around me to speak. They say they were there. Uh once I put boots on the ground and you couldn't find them. But basically, as a man, a black man. You got a lot of pride. You have a lot of people that want to talk to you about how you should go about things doing. And then, you know, when you want to stand out in the front and center, you can't find them. So today I might call them out and I might not. But um, what I'm about is getting the community together. No more nonsense. It doesn't matter. Save my Vernon means addressing anyone or anything that's going to hold my Vernon back from moving forward. So I'm standing in front and center right now. So I don't care if it's a turtle crossing the street with a shell upside down or somebody in the water department, DBW, controller, Thomas, mayor, 
police department, that's what we're going to address. And it's the only way it's going to happen if we come together as one and everybody stand up. Like I said, the strength is definitely in numbers. So we're definitely going to do it. And, 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 and there was a time when Damien, myself, maybe, and Bob, we found ourselves out there by ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, we, you know, you put, you put yourself on the line for a lot of people, and then when you turn around, the people that you put yourself on the line don't be there. So every time there's a new face that comes out, everybody, time somebody else steps up, I like to applaud them. And, 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 I, and I like to say, with the actions you're doing, hopefully that will encourage others to step forward and come out because everybody has to speak up. This What's going on is affecting all of us. So, you know what I'm yes. saying? And, and, and as Henry Terry says, you know, you shouldn't have to wait for it to hit your doorstep before you speak up against the senseless gun violence and all that stuff that's going on. Exactly, definitely. Um, we're planning something else this week. I um, have a meeting this weekend, you know, and, and I'll go back to sitting at the table. I said I would support whoever won the mayorship. That's what I'm doing. Doing now, you know, I'm still going to speak out. And I think everybody knows that. Um, I'm not going to stop speaking, but we have something planned on because yesterday was just a stepping stone for what we're going to do. Um, I think we're going to plan a march within Mount Vernon. We're going to plan a march soon coming up. Um, I got some means this weekend with some of the people that I spoke yesterday. Uh, we're going to get together, do a Zoom, and we're going to not stop because this has to be continued. We can't just have one day of uh, let's come together, sing, hold hands, get stuff off our chest. It has to be continued. So that's what we plan on doing is trying to set Mount Vernon in the right direction. If there's somebody in the way, or, or, or as I call it, we're going to shake the tree right now because we're going to shake it for real. Um, if they're in the way and they're doing something wrong, they're going to have to get out of the way. But, uh, so, or so, resign, do what you have to do. You, got, man, you know, um, Brother Jesse, man, you know, we talk. And, and I commend you for filling the gap um, in the city uh, to hold people's feet to the fire. And, and you said something was key. You support the mayor, um, but you have to speak out when, when wrong is done. And, yes. and, that's, and that's the democratic process, right? Yes. Um, nobody should take it personal. Exactly. Nobody, nobody should feel that they're being attacked. Mm -hmm. What they should do is is know that the people are are voicing their concern, and as uh, leadership, as elected officials that are elected by the people of Mount Vernon, um, they have an obligation to hear, and and if so, sit at the table, or put something together that address that 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 addresses the concerns of their constituents. Mm -hmm. So you know, I, I commend you for. For, for stepping up for um, the victims of, of families that, that, have, that have been lost and um, keeping that on, on the front burning, um, keeping crime and violence in, in the community of, of Mount Vernon, um, keeping that in, in, in the faces of those who, who, who people came out and elected office. And, and, and now this incident, this recent incident um, is, is heartbreaking. You know, and and they have to come out with a plan. You know, yes. um, I have much respect for for for, for Commissioner Scott. Um, I, I think he he is taking on a, a job for like four years that had no leadership. You know, and um, but you know that incident is 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 inexcusable. Definitely, you know, definitely that incident. And I talked to, I talked to Commissioner Scott. Yeah, he, we talked. We both. Spoke yeah, to yeah. Him. We, both talk to them, you know, um, and and I, I just hope they come up with something um, that will correct this, you know, um, because Mount Vernon, man, Mount Vernon can be a beautiful city, you know, it has the potential to be a beautiful city, and and the question is this, right? The question is this: we are a city, and I and, and I say we because. I don't think that the whole being from Mount Vernon um, doesn't, it doesn't qualify anymore, right? Yes. Because if, you, if you're a black city, 
and you're run by black people, you are the Wakanda of Westchester County, whether you want to accept it or not. That's right. Right. And this is not, and this is not to one personal, this is not to anybody specific. This is for Mount Vernon. You are the Wakanda of Westchester County. You are a black run city. You can't blame the white man for your dysfunction. No. You you can only blame yourself. So, so you know. So, be, so you have a responsibility, Mount Vernon, to the rest of people of Westchester County. See, because when the, when the nonsense is seen on News 12 and everybody want to get upset and say, why are they showing all the bad stuff, mm -hmm. right? And there's a black person in a restaurant in Scarsdale, all the white people look at him. He don't even have to be from Mount Vernon. He don't even have to drive through. He never had to drive through Mount Vernon one day in his life. But when that stuff come on TV, all the white people in the restaurant look at the black person. So you have a responsibility to every black person that lives in Westchester County, whether you want to accept it or not. Right. And then and let me just know? say, it's not just Westchester County, Westchester County specifically, but to the entire area, because there are very few black run, fully black run cities, you know, except like Newark and maybe Philly and, you know what I'm saying? Like those might be our closest ones. We are like, one of the few on the eastern seaboard <laughs> like we we you know other people have black mayors but we are black run city and and let me just say this and i've said this all the time for those white people out there who say yo you can't give them negroes it's not the word they use the negroes no power yeah. if they don't know how to handle it they can point to mount vernon as an example of what they're talking about sometimes mm -hmm. and we're giving them that example we need to we need to be like he said, the Wakanda, we need to be the new black Wall Street. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, we have the right people, I think, in place, but, you know, I think they have resistance within City Hall, resistance within the police department. You know, we've been through this same thing again, you know, but how many, how much time we got left? What's going on? If we don't stand now as one and understand and let these people know, like I said, I'm going to reach out in two weeks or probably three, and reach out to the young brothers on the street and ask them face to face. Cause you can't talk to them on Zoom. You can't talk to them. You gotta go on the street and reach them. So I have, go to, yeah. you have, to, you have to definitely do it. And ask them what can, what do I, what, what, what can I do to help you improve your life? What do you need? You know, um, if I can help them get a job, GD, job call, anything. That's what I'm about. I'm gonna okay. definitely see if I can help them. But also too, if I'm doing that, what are the police doing? You know, you can't be locking up senior citizens and I'm out here trying to bridge the gap and get trust again with the community. And then you out here running cowboy. You out here doing things you shouldn't be doing. You know, and, and it's a problem because like I said yesterday, I called out Latish James. I'm gonna jump right into it. I'm not gonna wait for Mimi to come in and do her job. Latish should have been here. You know, Mimi says she opened an investigation. Tish could do that next week. You got tapes coming out. You got more tapes coming out. But but it's not, but but see. It's, it's Tish's job to do it, right? Mm -hmm. so, but, but we also have to understand the game that Scarpino was playing. And um, I do credit the Mount Vernon city government for, for calling Scarpino out. Mm -hmm. um, I do credit um, um, Commissioner Scott for calling Scarpino out for his madness. But whatever, whatever he was doing, right? He should have been called out from the start. It shouldn't, we, we should not have waited till uh, election time. We should have called him out um, for what he was doing. Because what, what happens is when you go, let's say you go to Scarpino, which many people have went to Scarpino and complained. And then when Scarpino does nothing, you go to the AG or the feds. They have to respect the local jurisdiction. So they'll reach back and say, hey, we got this information from so-and-so what are you doing about it? Scarpino will say, well, we're investigating it. So what happens to the AG and what happens to, to the feds, they, they won't investigate. But now that you have written testimony or written statements from the police commissioner, com, um, Commissioner Scott, mm -hmm. which, which we posted on Black Westchester, the AG should step in now. Because, because you have the police commissioner saying that the DA didn't do his job properly in, 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 in holding um, um, bad, bad, apples, bad apples accountable. Mm -hmm. But I'm from old school. 
right? I've been in this game for 30 years. And the, and, the, and, 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 and the way you change the culture of policing, you start firing officers and let them fight for their job back. Yeah. You might win some, you might lose some. So. But what you do is you send a message that, that as, as management, as the city, we're not tolerating the nonsense. Mm -hmm. We're not tolerating the nonsense because a lot of stuff that go on will never happen in the Department of Correction because I will guarantee you that officer will be on a milk carton and we'll wonder where he's at. He might not lose his job, but he might get 60, 90, 100 days, 120 days suspended. Mm -hmm. and, that makes, and, and that makes someone humble. It's, it's what we call behavior modification mm -hmm. because if you start holding those accountable, the other ones will act right because they don't want to lose a paycheck. Mm -hmm. They don't want to lose a paycheck. But this is the culture of policing that has to be addressed, even in the black city, right? I mean, it, it's, it, dude, I'm on I'm on Zoom conferences all the time. Yeah. Right? I'm on one this Tuesday with the National Association of Blacks and Criminal Justice. This is nothing new. But it has to be addressed and, and, and it has to be a it has to be it has to be put out there that we have to change the culture. Like my sister from um, St. Louis, um, the St. Louis Black, Black Police Association, she says the police culture eats policies, procedures for dinner. See, so, so if we're not ready to, to break that police culture, even in a Black city, we have to in a Black city because the police culture is, is oppressive to Black people all over the country. So when you have Black elected officials, they are obligated to break that police culture. Mm. They are I, I wanna, obligated. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. I want to add, add something too. You know, a lot of times I hear a lot of people, not not in this conversation, but I hear a lot of people say that, you know, they're waiting for the feds, they're waiting for the AG or whatever. You have to make those entities come in. You have to give them a reason to come in. People are not just, if we're not handling our business here, and it, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna come clean it up for us. There's there's a certain responsibility we, the residents have as well. And and we need to, you know, hold our elected officials account, account uh, be more responsible when it comes time to vote. We need to go to our city council meetings and, 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 and school board meetings and all those things and make our voices heard. We need to speak up. The, the city of Mount Vernon, like a lot of other cities, what I see is they're waiting for a savior to come in and fix it all for us. There's some stuff you got to do by yourself. The Bible say faith without works is dead. Like you got some works to do. Everybody don't need to be on the front line. Everybody's not going to get out and march and protest. Just then start making some calls to your elected officials. You know what I'm saying? Start, start yeah. doing something. There's something you can do. Everybody has a role that they can play. And, and, and until people start, like, these elected officials around the nation talking about all this criminal justice reform, they're not doing it because it's the right thing to do. They're doing it because it's protests in everyone, 50 states and 20 different countries. And people that they're not doing it. They're not, oh, let's just do it because it's the right thing to do. What are you going to do for what it is that you want? They're all doing it. People about what, what it is that you going to do for what it is that you want? That's, that's, that, I mean, somebody has to say it. Like, we, we need to address. The residents, the residents have a role that they have to play in their city. Definitely. I want to. I want to talk. I want to. I want to talk about. We have to police ourselves. Black people are the only community in, in the nation that, that don't police ourselves. We could talk about the police is a, is a reactionary. Is a react. The police come after the crime is committed, right? Yeah. It, 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 that's what it is what it is right someone gets shot someone get killed the police come the the, the police come after after and and, and the police in, investigates after looking for your keys okay all right um the the police the the, the police come after but the problem is what what do we do as the black community right we don't police ourselves and 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 when someone do get shot, we know who the killer is, and we don't and, and we don't say anything. We don't say anything. So 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 we're putting ourselves in danger. Mm -hmm. We see the killer every day, going to Chicken Hut, mm -hmm. on Fourth Avenue, right? 
doing walking around like nothing, nothing happened, and we all know he the shooter, but don't nobody say anything. <laughs> See, because we we part of the problem. We part of the problem. Yeah. Because we don't we don't police ourselves. We lack a code of conduct in our own community. In our own community. It's the city's only four by four square miles. Everybody is related to somebody somehow. And know something. Exactly. 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 But we are but but we allow all these homicides to go unsolved. We allow all these homicides to go unsolved. See, we have to have some truth and rec reconciliation with ourselves. We have to have a come to Jesus moment with, 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 with ourselves. Yes. You know, but but if you know, if we're not willing to do that as a community, you know. Yeah, we're gonna have a problem. My thing is me trying to find out what's taking us alone for the people in my running. Basically, I know a lot of men here in my running. Um, I haven't called a few. I'll still reach out and be calling tomorrow, asking them to stand with me. You know, because the fight is never over. It's not going to be over, my Vernon. I think it may just get worse, my opinion. Um, and the team that spoke yesterday, I'd like to thank them again for coming out, speaking. In the rain, we stood. Um, people that seen it on, on, on live, I respect that. Um, people reached out to me today about, you know, um, walking with us next time. But I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep going. But my thing is, um, with Linda and Dorothy Barnes, that should have never happened. Um, Common sense. Can we can we stop real quick? I don't know if you yep. did this because I stepped out. Can we yeah. explain what happened? Yes. What, what what happened with the situation? What 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 happened to the ladies exactly? Um. They were they were going basically to the store. Um, Linda gave her husband some money to play lotto like she always does. Um, I think when she pulled off going home, the cops followed her, pulled her over. Uh, she asked what was going on. She immediately got scared and told him, look, I had a stroke and Dorothy had a heart attack. Um, you know, what's the problem? I gave my husband some money to play lotto and um, no explanation. Get out the car. We're searching you. Um, they searched the car. They didn't find anything. She um, says she took a phone out and he kind of got physical and knocked the phone out of hand. Um, took, took him to the police station. I think a different set of officers took, the, took them to the police station. And um, they got bodies. They got, they got searched, strip searched. Um, and let go with no explanation. So to me, definitely unjust. Um, 75 or 65 years old, you know, you come to the scene, you see that, and I understand with six officers involved. Now, if you got that many officers staking out a little, you think a, a $5, $10 sale, I mean, take those officers and basically put them on those off homicides. That's a lot of manpower right there to sit on the corner and watch what you thought you seen something that wasn't about anything anyway. My problem is that could have been anybody's grandmother, aunt, mother, anything. And, and as coming upon the scene as an officer, you know, not saying people don't, but that type of age is doing nothing. They do it all the time, go play the lotto, go to the casino. I even took a bus ride with Linda McNair to Atlanta City. That's what they do. Go to the casino, play lotto all the time. Now, those officers should not be on the street. I understand internal affairs investigating why are they on the street. I didn't hear anything last week or week before if they were sitting doing desk duty or suspended until in internal affairs find out what's going on. I haven't heard anything, and we're going to find out what's going on. So they felt bad. I mean, traumatized, not sleeping, realizing that you had to go into jail, so handcuffed to the station and get strip searched at that age. They've never been in trouble in their life. Lifelong residents in Mount Vernon. Now I say that won't happen on the north side of Fleetwood. There'll be mass protests out in the street over that, but we accept anything. That's the problem. We as black people, Mount Vernon, let things go on and accept it. And I say if it wasn't D Dougie Fresh or somebody in front of City Hall, the crowd ain't gonna be there. The crowd is not gonna be there. You ain't got mass media coverage coming in to, to cover a rapper, people ain't gonna be there. It's all about show and tell here. And it's over. I'm going to call it out like I see it. It's over. So I'm pretty sure that their lawyer is going to handle everything. And um, we're going to stand with them. Because like I said, our, fi our first step was yesterday. We got more to do, more to address. Say my friend is going to come in with anything. We're going to be there for them. 
and anybody else. Now, my thing is too, is people might run to understand until it happens to somebody in their family, okay? Right. I lost right. no sons. That didn't happen to my grandmothers. So I'm fighting to fight for other people that are sitting down on the couch watching Jesse get his work in. Y'all watch him, ask you, y'all call me, hit me up. Hit me up, Jesse Van Loo, gmail.com. You can reach me, face, Facebook me. You want to join, you can reach me. I don't have a problem with it. I'm not going to turn you away. And if for some reason you can't reach him, you can, always, you can always reach out to us and say, I'm looking for Jesse. I'm trying to get down with what he's doing. And we'll always put you in. Everybody knows how to reach out. So there's no excuse to be yeah. out for Jesse. Yeah. I want to welcome to the, um, to the show um, Nazarene Duncan, our sister. She was out there. She spoke. She's been um, fighting for justice for the unsolved homicide of her son. Um, and she is one of those, as many, but she's one of those that has been the most vocal and, 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 and making sure she keeps the name alive. Welcome to the show now. Yeah. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? What's happening, sister? What's going yeah. on? Okay. <laughs> Let me make something clear before I even go any further. I am a part of Black Westchester's family. I just want to make that clear. Yeah, yeah I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw a, a, a Facebook exchange. I am Black so that came out. Oh, You are, you are. You, you absolutely, you absolutely are. Yeah, it was already starting now. It was a long yeah, yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah. Yes, um, and we need more people. Um, AJ? Huh? I, I guess Yesterday, first it was raining, and then you know, yesterday was the uh, six-year anniversary of my mother's. Uh, oh death. right, I forgot, I forgot. And um, I still was coming, and then Cynthia said she wasn't going at first, and then you know, so I said, "Oh okay." I went walking, so then I found out somebody <laughs> was dead. I was like, "Okay." So I was like, she never called me back and told me she was going because we were going to white, we were going to white plains to speak to an uh, event afterwards, but that got canceled. Yeah, I'm calling to that too next week. We represented though. Yes, okay. we did. No, I heard. Yes, I, I got, I got, I got. I watched the, I got, the video. Great job. I got the, um, I got the uh, play by play from Patty. So mm. yeah, <laughs> said Mama Nas is doing her thing. Cynthia, doing yes. yes, yes, yes. Shout out to Patty Combs. Shout out to um, our two co-hosts. They're not with us today. I sent, I did send them links. Lorraine Lopez and Robert Baskerville. I know he's dealing with family stuff and also you know, working on um, some a research project that has been taking up all of his time. So he always wants me to let people know that's why you don't see him. He is alive and well. Everything is good with him. <laughs> and um, yeah. I just seen a Facebook post. Uh, I think Lorraine was out with Tasha Diaz and the girls having lunch somewhere. So uh, she's not here. So um, shout out to both of them. Yeah. Well, so, as long as you sent the link, we all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm leaving that alone, but yes, yes. I said everybody link at 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> you know, I'm on the Nas. You've been Nas been on the for, forefront. You know, even you know some people. Some people it takes a tragedy to happen to them to to come out and right. and, and be on the forefront. Nas was on the forefront before the tragedy happened to a family, I, and I, um, I just want to say thank you. For, for the work that you do and um, showing up and, and support and, and, and support and supporting Jesse. Um, my mouth is, is gonna, my mouth will stay shut for a while because I wanna see what happens. And then I'm gonna say, then I'm gonna speak. Um, but I think that the people of Mount Vernon must awaken. They, 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 they have to, you know, I mean, they, they have to. It's, I mean, between you, Jesse, Black Westchester, I mean, you're, you're looking at almost 10 rallies, right? And, and then we, and, and then we- yeah, we, we were directly involved with, then we had our fingerprints on other ones. Exactly, so you're, looking, you're looking at at least 10, you're looking at at least 10 rallies in a city that's four by four. I mean, they, they have to. And, 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 and I mean, between oh, you- Oh, we can feedback. Yes. Black. Does somebody have a phone on or something in the background or? No, I mean, almost 10 rounds. Yeah, whatever your second device is, you have to turn it off. But, I, mean, I, I want to say, can I say one thing real quick? And I'm sorry to interrupt you. I want to say, and we said how people don't, and you mentioned you started to go there, Damon. People don't speak up until this touch their doorstep. When other mothers and family members 
lost their loved ones to 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 senseless gun violence. Nas was the one that was there for them, and never did she realize that she would then be in that chair. You yes. you understand what I'm saying? Like she was she was the one that they went to. It was the one that was there for everybody. Not a, you know for for a lot of them, and then. Mm -hmm. Tragedy happened, and now, she, and then it put her in that chair, and and it took an emotional toll on her, and that would have probably took a lot of people out of the game for real, for real. But she kept coming, and kept coming. She stayed strong, and she's still in the game. You know what I'm saying? Not fighting for just her family, but still standing with everybody else as well. And I think that I really want to bring that out because that needs to be said because there's so many people again representing became one of the mothers I was representing you yeah. and it yeah. is tough. It is, it's, it's really tough um, it, it, it has its emotional ups and downs um, I feel like I am strong I am at my strongest when I'm fighting um, because of some, a lot of the mental mental part of it um, I have I'm on a, like an emotional roller coaster but I'm never giving up they will always hear my voice um, you know, I, I, they, they, I, I said yesterday, they expect you to, oh, they're whining again. There they go. Blah, 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 blah. And you know, you, you, they, they you give up. I also said to someone out there yesterday, cause they was talking about another, um, person with the unsolved murder in Mount Vernon. And I said to them, you know, I can speak, but have them call me. Because we're better at, you know, we, it's better that they hear, you know, I can represent, but I can't show your pain, your feeling right. from. Exactly. And a closed mouth don't get fed. If you don't say that, nobody right. will they think you're okay. That's right. You know, and, and we got to show them we're not okay. Because I know if I'm going through this to lose a child, you know, and that was my baby child. He was six feet, two, six, six, I mean, six, six, but he was my baby, my big baby. And so everybody, you know, loved their child. I don't care what source of life they came from. You love your child. I don't care if I was poor on the street, homeless with my child next to me. I love my child, whether yeah. I was rich up in the hills. I love my child. So it's no different. And the people that sit here and, and don't support and want to give a bunch of lip service, they, they, you know, you don't really care because it ain't you. Lose yours and understand. Lose yours and understand, because I'm sick of lip service at this point. And I put it on Jesse Page. I'm calling people out. I'm calling them out. Because I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not paid to like what you think about me. That's right. So I'm going to call you out. Because the same people that sit there and Jesse support and, and other people support, you, you, when he has something, you're not there. Be, why? Why are you not there? And I'm, a, and I, you know, it, 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 why, why are you not there? But yet I see those same people quick to support city, city, city event, generated events. You know what I'm saying? So are you there for the publicity or the accolades or, or are you there? Is it from the heart? Because it's not from the heart if you're not there for everybody and every situation. It's yes. all about bettering this city. It's about better in the city. It's not about, you know, oh, who look good, how many likes I can get. No, no, we, it, it, it don't go like that. So, so guess what? Snug, everybody else, that, and, and even the clergy, I'm, you, get, you get the same one or two clergy people that come out. Where are the rest of you? Where are the rest of you? Because you can be at every city event, and just like and you can be at, at, at any, you know, cause that's because they all got agendas. But, but you know what I'm saying? Pastor Wheeler, Pastor Pope, they came out. It doesn't mean that they're getting involved. People are so, they, they, they act like a bunch of house servants. You know what I'm saying? You're not getting involved because you come in and you speak in your opinion. Your opinion is like a doorknob. But people do need to understand. Am I taking over? I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. <laughs> what, people, what people do need to understand is that it's not about being on the front line. Because guess what I told somebody today? And I told it to Jesse. It's not about when that singer, you, you pop into that music. Guess what? Beyonce is an entertainer. The big person is the producer. They're in the back. Mm -hmm. They put all of this together and tell you, here, go out there and sing this now. So everything ain't about being on the front line, getting the most likes. This is not YouTube where you're going to become an influencer and make millions of dollars. This is real life. And I want to see real results from real people that care. 
That's what's up. And and and, I, and you talk about taking taking over the show. You know what? They tired of hearing all this from me and Damon over and over and over. And and that's, what, and that's why I want to applaud um um Jesse. That's why the importance. See, we need more voices and especially new voices to get involved. You know what I'm saying? Because again, you said it's the same one or two people we always hear from. Where are the rest of them at? And then where's the where are the you know, or when the candidates are running, or oh, they want to be around you and get photo ops with you and all that. And 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 then they win and you don't see them until it's time for them to run again. You know what I'm saying? I, I give props to Jamal Bowman. I saw that he was there. He won his race basically. He, he it's not like he can gain a vote now from, by being no, there. Well, I, I don't I don't think I don't think for Bowman it's about votes. Right, um, right, right, right. No, he I'm but that's he's about he's running is his district. Right. And and this is and and this is a serious. These are yeah. serious issues. My, my run is other people district too. Where were they? Well, That's right. I mean, look, I'm look, just saying. Look, look, my run is other people's district. Look, and and no, running. but you're but you're absolutely right. And right. and that's and that's why I, I I go back to to saying that you you know oh I was a, I was going to say it before when you was talking about um, the politicians taking over. The part that they, they have been taking over the moment, right? And 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 look, I got love for a lot of y'all politicians, right? But but I understand that you take over the moment because the moment right now, the momentum is the people. But when you start seeing that, like in White Plains, the White Plains city government, the mayor sponsored the rally. How are you sponsoring the rally? Right when 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 Caesar starts sponsoring Jesus' speeches, we have a problem. It has to come from the people. Change doesn't come from top down. It comes from the bottom up. And this is this is not personal. If people's feelings might get hurt, whoever. But but change has to come from the bottom up. It doesn't come from the. It doesn't come from the top down. So when I see city-sponsored rally in the narrative, right, as Toni Morrison say, the master narrator. But we're, what we're witnessing in a lot of these cities are master narrators because they have to control the masses and keep them in line. So they take over the, they take over the narrative. You know, that's one of the reasons why we, we're having the rally in White Plains, because White Plains sponsored the rally with, with, the, with the pastors right? and, didn't invite none of, and didn't invite none of the victims. Why are you not inviting the victims? See, so, so and Kenny was there. Kenny, and, Kenny, and Kenny was there. So we have to, the people, Jesse, Nas, Cynthia, Jeff Red. All the people that spoke, Jeff Monroe, who's been who's been struck, who's been yes. who's been on the forefront for for a long for a long time. Big up to that brother, right? The people have to start controlling the narrative of the issue. Don't li don't allow Caesar to control the narrative. And and I, and I'm gonna say and, and I'm gonna say this to the pastors. Don't bow down to Caesar. Don't bow down to City Hall. Don't bow down to Poacher's Pilot. These issues affect people that pay tithes to your churches. It shouldn't be not one rally that's happened in any city. I don't care, I don't, I don't care what city it is, it, that black pastors are not showing up and telling, and telling their congregation to come out. Don't get scared of Caesar, because if you are, I'm going to call you out as being a sucker. Right, because what what is it? If you're a sucker of the poor, because you're taking tithes, and you're not reciprocating the struggle in the struggle of the people that pay tithes to you, you're a blood sucker, according yeah. to the most honorably Elijah Muhammad. Yeah. So so we so we gotta so 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 we have to. And Farrakhan talked about it. <laughs> he talked about it in his last speech about the blood suckers. Yes, he did. And it wasn't about, it wasn't a color. It was a percentage of people, that 
So are the pastors, are you a part of that 10%, right? Because you know who the true living God is, but you became, but you became a blood to the poor. They probably that believe ministry God and the meat eaters. I mean, that's part of the teaching. But we have to understand, we have to understand that if you're going to be a leader in the community, and I love everybody that's that a leader that claims, but if you're going to be a leader in the community, don't take our people to hell. This is, this is, this is a redefining moment in the history of America. And we can't, and we can't be punks and suckers right now. We have to call what truth. They're talking about Jefferson. They're talking about George Washington being slave owners, wanting to take down all that. And we're going to get to Columbus, even though Governor Cuomo said Columbus is all, all uh, Columbus is, 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 you can't touch Columbus. We're going to get to Columbus too, because he was a murderer mm -hmm. and he didn't find America. Let's tell the truth. Period. Exactly. If people was already here. He didn't yeah. discover nothing. So we're going to get to that too. But but the whole thing is we gotta deal we we gotta deal with truth. We have to deal with truth. And Damon, God loves all. He don't only love your church and your parishioners. You know what I'm saying? He loves all. And you're supposed to be there for all. And when you got people in, in a, a city and it's more than, you know, a a handful in distress, you're not supposed to pick and choose who who, who you will represent and who you won't, because that means that it's not coming from the heart. It's a difference with something coming from the heart. And it's like, and just like I told Jesse, it's not about how many numbers you got because everybody can get on Twitter and tell a friend and tell a friend and tell a friend. You have a thousand of nobodies, and you, but yet you can have 50 heavy hitters. Exactly. And exactly. No I'd rather have 50 heavy hitters than to have a thousand nobodies that, that's just there to be seen. That's absolutely. And, and, oh, sorry. And shout out to, to, to Pastor Wheeler, Reverend Wheeler. Um, he, exactly what you said. If we called him, like we called him the day after you, um, you, you lost your son. We called him, he came through, and we all came through together. You didn't even go to his church. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't stop that. When we called him, he came. You know what I'm saying? And he, you know, and I have to respect that. Like, you know, and I've seen him in several other places that those wasn't his church members. And, and his church is not one of the big three or four big, big, big churches in Mount Vernon, you know what I'm saying? But he comes out though when he's called, if he can be there. And and, and I just wanted to speak on, I just wanted to bring that up because I, I got a lot of respect for him. Uh, how many churches we got in Mount Vernon? The, the, number, the, the number is so sporadic because they say three, three or four hundred, they say three, they say three, almost 300. But what, the, what it is is, you have people having church inside, like a church building, and then they lease their place out on a Saturday for other people to have church. That's considered another church. You know what I'm saying? And we got all these storefronts, and they and then and, and Andre's building. There's a church in the, up the top of Andre's building. There's a pastor there that got service. You know what I'm saying? His building is not a church, but you know we have the houses of worship. But you only got two, one or two that come out. Shame on you, Mount Vernon clergy shame on well, you, see, you. You, see, you see now you see now you'll see like um a couple of dozen come out when it's like getting them behind to endorse a candidate or something oh, of course, of you know course. What I'm but, but when you look at that couple of that two dozen that come out when the issues happen how many of them do you see any other times you can name them you know you, put, you can name them yeah, you can name them You're on your hand and still have extra fingers left. Like, yeah. That's right. <laughs> Shout out to uh, a couple people listening. Wanda London and Yonkers, Sonji Bell, Kemi Pong and Asnan, uh, Ray Copeland, Atif Khalil, um, Eddie Johnson, Alex Harrison, uh, Ken Bright, Uncle Frank, Frank Chulio Jr. Uncle um, Frank, what's happening, Uncle Frank? Yeah, I haven't seen you in a while. Um, I know I saw Caitlin Gleason's name. Um, <laughs> And several other people I, I, I'm scrolling through right now. I missed you. We want to thank everybody. Luis Cherico was tuned in. I don't know if she's still tuned in. Um, everybody's tuned in. We're, we're, we're dealing with um, 
save Mount Vernon right now. We have um, Jesse Van Lu, who's one of the founders of the Save Mount Vernon movement. We have uh, Nas Duncan, who's been on the front line fighting against senseless gun violence in, in not just in Mount Vernon, period, you know what I'm saying, but especially in Mount Vernon, who lost her son and is fighting for the justice, for the, the killer of her son to be brought to justice. You know, this this is too many, we have too many, and this, I think one of the things just started with was the unsolved homicides. I mean, that was one of your first rallies. Um, yeah. Was addressing the unsolved homicides. Um, why, <laughs> why do we have, and we had, remember David, we had one brother came through from the Bronx or whatever, um, talking about they, black lives don't matter in, in Mount Vernon, and and and, and he died a yeah. month um, or two later at, without ever seeing justice for the, for the killer of his son. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes. And he yeah. was the one that was on front. More, you know, are you still in contact? You still in contact with the mother? That's great. Yeah. 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 Hold on, hold on, middle place. And, and I'm, I'm, they found out anything? Yeah, that blue fire. Nothing. They don't even contact her at yeah. all. Yeah. At, at he, all. So I think she took her energy and more so, like, you know, pushing it into the foundation. And I think that's what they want you to do. They want you to forget and, and, and just sit back. You know, no, you parents in Mount Vernon that lost your kids, don't let this stop here. Don't let them say, oh, you know, they'll forget about it. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. You make them. I'm not forgetting about it. I'm going to be a thorn in your spine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be that shingle in your back ready to pop out. So, you know, they, they have to speak up. Don't let it come down to that because that's what they want you to do. One of the biggest problems I have with the police, and, I'm, and, and, and you know what's funny? I don't see this everywhere else. I see it only in Mount Vernon. They, they, they're quick to say, oh, you know, you, you want the public to solve your cases for you. So if, the, if they give you everything you need on a dish, then what the hell are you working for? You just gonna clean it up and hand it in? What happened to getting out and getting some footwork in and investigating and doing what you do? You need to do? No, you, these are lazy cops. They friggin' lazy. They're lazy. Lazy, no. Years ago when I was growing up, you had real cops there. I mean, they was on America's Most Wanted, going to different countries, getting people. They did footwork. So you want to be a cop because your grandfather was a cop and the father and father and father, and that's why you want to be a cop? Or you want to come through Mount Vernon as a transition center for you to go somewhere else and, cop, and, and police? No. It has to, you have to have a passion for it in any job that you do. If you don't have a passion for it, get the hell out. Cause you're a waste of time. I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna say this because I got a lot of respect for the new mayor the and and move forward. I know it's gonna be taken well. But message but if I was in as mayor and commissioner coming in the last three or four years of that coming out of the Like, like, when when will it end, and when and when will the and, and when will it stop? Well, we don't know. Well, you know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. That's just me. Yeah. Because 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 that's what that's what I would do. I'll end that shit right now. Listen, call the feds in. Do what you gotta do. 
Right. Everybody on pins and needles. And look, if you if if you did your shit, you did your job, then you all right. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Exactly. Because because there's good cops. There's, 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 you know, I was watching the video and Jeff Red was to, and, 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 and he was like, yo, they are good cops. Are. But you, you can't be called a good cop or a good officer if you allow the few to control your behavior. Exactly. And, and you, listen, it doesn't matter. You say, oh, man, you don't know what you're talking about. You in correction. Culture is culture. That's it. Oh, Coach, so it don't matter what department you in. Definitely. It doesn't matter what department you in. But you but you listen, I'm not gonna allow nobody to control to control my consciousness. And nobody and, and, and nobody should neither. But what but what we're seeing is is people just, you know, we just gonna go along with it because you know it is what it is. That's what they've been doing. That doesn't make it right if it's if it's wrong. And, and you continue to do something wrong, it doesn't make it right because other people do it. And it's been done for, for a long time. When will someone have the testicular fortitude to say, this is all wrong and we're going to make it right? Pressure. Um, and some people are going to, and some people pressure. are going to have to retire. Yeah. Or get suspended. Or get fired. Or go to jail, Russia, because that's the only way you're gonna. That's the only way you 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 you're gonna get respect. When 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 me and Andrew, Anthony Mitchell started the Black Law Enforcement Organization and we, and we added Mount Vernon as 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 a chapter, and and I, I'll be straight up. Other people in Black Law Enforcement leadership told me you are wasting your damn time. Ten years later. There's no organization there. Mm. So what did, what, what did I do? I wasted my damn time. I wasted my damn time and put my, put my wife in danger because wanting better for black officers that didn't want better for themselves. And I don't care. And I say, if you have a problem with what I said, you got my number, you call me, leave my, my, leave my wife out of this. Right. But if you can't get your shit together in a black department, then there's a problem. There's a problem. You can't blame the white man when, when y'all running the shit. You can't blame the white officers when you running the shit. No. You gotta blame yourselves. And this is your community. I mean, this should be the torchlight. You want to see how Mount Vernon, you want to see how police should police a black community? Look at Mount Vernon. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. It, look at Mount Vernon. Absolutely. Right now, with everything that's going on with George Floyd and all that, yo, it should be on every, listen, this is how you police a, a black community. This is, this is how we work with the black community. This is how we do this. This is how we do that. This is how we, we change the culture in policing. This is what we did. When, when the hell will that be the story? Mm. It wasn't under Blackwood. It wasn't under Ernie. It wasn't under Clinton. It wasn't under Richie. So when? That's the question that the people that's in power now have to begin to answer. That's what they got to do. That when, when, when will be, when will Mount Vernon be the torchlight? And how the hell are you going to get to that? Where's your plan of action? That's the question, and that's the question what the people need to start answering, and 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 stop. Worried about identity politics. The people are conditioned. The people act like conditioned lab rats, and, and and they go by one, like it's like Mount Vernon. I used to always say, it's like they got one moon, and when they got a thought, they all pick from it. You know what I'm saying? Get they they're conditioned, and 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 it's like you feel like okay. You got somebody to come in. They want to do the right thing. Before you know it, they're going. You're back to square one, and nothing got nowhere. Yeah. We need consistency. We need consistency. Well, 
we, 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 we're, we're going to work on it, but I want to give a shout out to a Tiff Coleman. Um, we basically started Save My Vernon together. I know he's been working on his page. Where is so he at? I gave, little, I gave him a little break. So, you know, we, we still talking, we still working and we got a big plan coming up. But one thing I got to say, I'm not yesterday I, in my message, I let people know I'm not anti police. I'm an anti bad cop, anti dirty cop. And I'm going to call it like I see it, you know, for the good cops that's there, I know. I got friends that's good cops that retired. I got friends in there now that's good cops. But for the ones that seen what's going on on a daily basis and not standing up and not speaking, it's a problem. It's a problem, my Vernon. You got to stand up like y'all want us to say something, see something. But well, damn it, y'all say something, y'all say something, y'all say it too as well. You see something, say something. Pull your comrade to the side, then the way we police. I'm going to bridge this gap now as so we got a team working together. We're going to do what we got to do. The more pressure we put on City Hall, the more pressure we put on the police department, we're going to get it right. If you don't, then yeah, shake the tree, fire their asses. They're not going to show us respect in the street. With our elders, fire their asses. They're mm -hmm. going to police the wrong way and not police the right way. Let their asses go. It has to change. I got a list right here of unsolved murders that I look at every day. And for me to have that passion and it's not my son's, I feel for the people. They want closure. They need it. So you got cops around that ain't doing their damn job. You got cops want to sit on the corner and watch elderly people play loud or six officers. But well, damn it, put them on the case. Open up these cold cases. Watch TV every day. You got people solving cold cases 20, 30 years. There's no way in hell this should be still going on. Another thing, with the Crime Stoppers, me and the TIF, we talk to them. They put the money up. Half the victims and the families, they've never put up no money. Crime Stoppers. Keyshawn, his family, God bless you. I'm glad they put it up. But where was the rest of the money for Crime Stoppers for the rest of the victims? Mm. Yeah, I was pissed last week. Very pissed. You asked me, where's the money at? Money helps out people. People talk. People starving in my Vernon, a little bit. So soon as something happens in Yonkers, Crime Stopper goes up the next day. My Vernon, nothing. My problem, city council members, except Derek Thompson stood up. Where are the rest of the city council members addressing the two elderly women that got unjustly arrested, as well as unsolved murders? We voted for you, you're elected official, but yeah, we won't see you to the end of this year when it's time for you to run for re-election again. But well, damn it, say my Vernon's gonna be right in front of City Hall again, and we're gonna block you. If you don't stand up in front now and show us what we put you in the damn seats for, we're gonna stop you. And we will not let you get in those seats again. We're gonna move on it. So. Yesterday was our first step. Next week, we're gonna take another step. I got people from out of town. I gotta come up here and help us move. It shouldn't be like that. Why am I going down New York City getting brothers to come up here and help me start this damn movement? It shouldn't be like that. Well, but I gotta stop somewhere. In my world, Jesse. <laughs> Absolutely. I have to do it, you know? Let me tell you, man, when, 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 when we would, when we was even, fighting the long fight for Christopher Ridley or, or, or we stand up uh, Mike Hannon, the black officer that got assaulted by the chief or, or, or different things. Brother, I had to get black cops from New York City to come up and, and stand in New York, Long Island. Yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's not new. I, I, my, my man Darren used to drive from, from, from um, 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 Nassau County. County to come out and speak. You know, Ron Hampton used to come to Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. I couldn't get the I couldn't get the black cops to stand up for nothing. All the black law enforcement, whether it's correction, probation, what parole, of course. What Welcome is the fear? Because it's almost like they have a fear. And I, I, I can't think that this whole city is so damn ice cold that that you don't care. And you know, and, until it's your, your, you know, it affects your family. Yes. Whether it's the brutality or, 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 or the murders or the crime, the crime itself. What is the fear with speaking out? Come on, I'm a grown ass woman. Can I say that? I ain't no, what, and by me speaking out, what you gonna come do, spank me? No, I, I'm speaking what I feel. It's an opinion, it's my opinion. So, so what is the fear of you speaking out or, you know, it, it's like they almost fearful. And, and I, I wouldn't want to live like that. I wouldn't want a job like that where I'm fearful. And, 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 and as far as the policing go, 
you know, I said it at my job. Everybody, when they say the state is coming, everybody's shucking and jiving. Who I got to get together. I'd be like, oh, the state coming tomorrow. I'd be like, okay, I'm working. I don't have to get nothing together because right. I'm working. Right. But all of y'all that feel like you got to get shit ready is because you ain't prepared. You ain't working. Exactly. I'm working. I don't have to prepare. And people got to get over that fear, whatever it is. Fear no man. Fear no man. Yes, we have our jobs and we want to eat. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to go to the extreme where I, I, I something's burning my heart, but I got to go along because of the status quo. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also shout to um, Kenneth Chamberlain for coming through yesterday. Yes. Especially, yeah. especially, and I'm going to be the one to say, especially since I can count the number of people from Mount Vernon that be at the vigils and be anywhere that I be for Kenny Chamberlain. I don't know how many Mount Vernon people I see. I know it'll be out there all over Facebook, but when when when, when we need him here in Mount Vernon, Kenneth Chamberlain is always here in Mount Vernon. Right there. Fight, fighting, fighting, doing stuff y'all ain't doing. Go into your city council and fighting for you to have a CCRB. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? And I, again, yo, this ain't Kenny talking, this is me. I don't see a whole lot of y'all when he when he got stuff going on and he had marches or rallies or vigils for his pops. I don't see any of y'all, many of y'all, but he be here for y'all though. So shout to Kenny. Yeah, I did thank him yesterday. We pulled, went to the side, we talked, and um, Wednesday he'll see me. Um, I think six o'clock, right, AJ? Yes, yes, yes definitely. So I'll try to bring as many people as I can from my Vernon. I'll be on the phone lines working and trying to pull. Like I said, we're not going to stop this. Um, I'm not going to get, and AJ, I remember something you told me a while ago, first rally I had, do not get discouraged. Absolutely. It's not about how many people you had, they're getting a message. It's just who's going to have the balls, screaming their language to stand up like a man. It's not walking around with the tail between their legs, as I call it, and stand front and center, and stop worrying about your job. Stop worrying about scared to speak up. Because right. trust me, they watching on social media, even the ones that don't want to come, they want to know who said what, Especially when they got people like Damon speaking, oh, what Damon say, or certain other people, they want to know. They, they, they watching. You might not know they watching. And the mm -hmm. reason I can tell you that, because we have shows like this, and the numbers right now that you see that's live, mm -hmm. the people that will be talking about this conversation later, mm -hmm. they're watching. That's why I told you, it ain't about visual numbers trust me the information you know the internet it it's way way more way more i think that i think the video that had so much controversy with that andre did for me and i did willingly um you know i i, I and it had almost like what ten thousand mm -hmm. views it had almost 10,000 views. So I don't care about how many people's there. It's the reach after it's put out there because it's recorded. Right. So and it's going to have reach. And how many of them 10,000 people have been by your side in your fight for justice? How many of them 10,000 people go. have checked on you to see how your fight is going, how your fight is going? How many and, of them people? And then to have, a, and then to have someone to question your intentions with the video. <laughs> See, you know, I mean, I mean, I'm tired of nigga shit. They, they made friend. it reach that point because it, it, it wasn't there, but because they talked about it so much and made people go, and I'm looking like, oh, wow. Y'all forcing people to it. Keep it up. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <Send me> some. <laughs> exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. But think you know um oh jesse yes dave mount vernon the people that are looking for police reform the ccrb was passed as far as my understanding from former mayor andre wallace and former councilman johanna edwards when johanna edwards lost he he sponsored the ccrb it was passed mm -hmm. You need to call the city clerk and find out where is the legislation, right? I have an old copy of what was proposed. I'm not saying that is what was passed, but from one, one, my understanding, 
is 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 very similar or the same. Okay. The city council appoints the CCRB. The reason why it was set up that way is because of Richie and Spezio and the nonsense they were doing mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and the city council. It was supposed to. Now, everything might have changed, but this was the plan. The city clerk's office was the area where the people were able to make the complaints because of the fact that people were complaining, they were feeling uncomfortable of going into the police station and making a complaint because, and because what you're supposed to do is someone come to the front desk, mm -hmm. I need a complaint form. You reach over, you give them a complaint form, have a nice day. What was happening is they was asking questions. They was taking IDs. They was doing things that they shouldn't have, shouldn't have done. And they were, and it also uh, almost it was discouraging so people the people from making a complaint. If you if 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 you listen to one of the reports from George Joseph or our interview with George Joseph, I'm not sure if he he put it, but I know he talked about mm -hmm. it. That one of the officers spoke about that. That he that he got, um, he 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 was questioned by a supervisor when he just gave the person the complaint instead of questioning them what was the complaint about. George Joseph talks about that, the investigative, the, the, the investigative reporters. So what, what I'm, I'm giving you something on air and live because I'm saying it because I want them to know. We played advisory role under Johanna Edwards, myself, Anthony Mitchell, Jeff Monroe, um, 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 former police commissioner Gardner, the black brother mm -hmm. with the bald head that was there for a yeah. while, he played a role in that. And we put the legislation we put the legislation together with former city council person Johanna Yoh Edwards, and it mimicked New York City um, CCRB. And what we added because we couldn't add unless they took it out. And this was uh, this is what was there. After, while Johanna was there, and that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. What was passed, I don't know. The people must find it out. But we put in an alternative to subpoena power because the biggest thing was having a seat, a civilian complaint review board with subpoena power to force the, the officers to come before the board. And what we did was we said, if you do not come, the date specified by the Civilian Complaint Review Board, every day after you lose accrued time. So you can wait out a whole year. You yeah. eventually, your ass won't get paid. Yeah. So if you got vacation time, comp time, holiday time, they'll start taking time from you until you come in front of the board. Now, whether when it was passed, see, we know sometimes legislators yes. don't read a bill, they just vote yes because it's the right thing to do, right? So it should have been in there, but you have to talk to the clerk because the last time I understand it, and, and you need to talk to Delia Farkerson because she is, the, the, she is the chairman of the Public Safety Committee. So she should have a copy and she should know it, 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 if, the, if the law was passed or not. This is not jabbing at anybody. Mm -hmm. This is regular information for the people so the people will know what questions they need to ask and, and, and moving forward. And you, need to get, and, and you need to get a copy of that legislation and see what that legislation is and, and what was voted. Because if that's the case, the city council have sole power and picking on who's on the board. Not nobody else. Okay. It's, the, it's, it's, it's the city, it's the city council. And text right. me your email and I will send you the last copy from your home. Okay. Definitely, definitely will. And we set it up that there's five sectors. It's five sectors. 
or six. There's a fourth sector or something. So there were five people, and and each person had to live in that sector. So that that community had a direct uh, representative on the CCRB that they go to with the they they go to to bring the complaint. And then you had the chair on 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 top of that. I'm not I, I'm not sure because I haven't looked at it in a while whether it was six or seven um, to be on the board. But you had the sectors, you had you had you had the five, then you had the chair. But I'm not sure if it was six or seven how how they broke it down. But I was I will send you I, I will send you the draft that Johanna sent me the last draft that he had. You know whether it was passed. Andre said it was passed right before when he was on city council and and he became uh, mayor. But right. but nobody has the legislation, and the clerk needs to supply me with the legislation that we have. Okay, I'll I'll be on that tomorrow. Definitely. Right. Hi, T. Tiff, what's up? Hey, nah. What's good? Jeff, what's good? What's going on? All right. So you got the head cut, huh? But but Dame, talk about how the police shouldn't be setting up the CCRB. No, we well, well that's what that. that's what I was saying. The the yeah. way the, the way it was. I must have missed that. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. The legislation yeah. was because it has to be independent of the police. You could have somebody from the police department on on the CCRB board, right? But it has to be independent. It's not an independent CCRB if if the law enforcement agency is setting up the CCRB and and you know and it's not a jab at nobody. It is what it is. That's it is what it is. That, that, right. That's what it is. I mean, we have to have honest conversation. We everybody talk about having honest conversations. So let's be honest. It's called independent CCRB because it's independent of the police right. force, no matter what city. And not one city has one. So, I mean, you know, I, I mean, that's something that just not people in Mount Vernon, but people in Greenberg, people in White Plains, people in Yonkers, people in Terrytown, people in Peekskill, Port Chester, Rock. Everybody needs to be talking about that. They do, because it provides structure and it gives officers, you know, and the residents, it protects them off the officers it, and it, the residents. It's I not think. anti, it's not anti-officer. And if you not. look at some of the studies of the CCRB, Sometimes the CCRB votes in favor of the officer. It protects the officer. Yeah, exactly. it protects the officer. Exactly. But back when we had Mama, I am. I, I I kept. They had one, you know, under Ernie, and um, I kept. I xeroxed a whole box of them and kept them in my car, and and finally had to utilize it one day when an officer um somebody attacked my niece, left the knife there. The officer set the dogs on us, and he said, you people, dear God, why did he say that? I lost my mind. I said, what do you mean, you people? And I wrote, I, I wrote up a complaint. I, I think I have the email, and I said, you know, or he was acting more like an overseer than an officer. Yeah, yeah. You know, but the, 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 but and that's the me. thing, Dan. And that's the thing, Nas. A lot of these officers can't relate to our community. They don't. We don't know them. You know, they don't us and wanna be known. That, yeah, and, right. And that's the that's they got to know us. They got to know who we are, how we operate. Is it because they're transisting? That's that. That's the, That's a transit hub. Yeah. Well, some of them do, and that's always been an issue. Right, right. Some of them, some of them. Some How do I need to get to know them? I'm in and out. Some, some of them don't. Some, some of them, don't some make of them do. But look, but if we control the government, hey, right, we control the process. Mm -hmm. We control. Right. We control who right. we hire. Right. There's no. There's no outrage with County PD is basically a white police force, with 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 maybe ten black officers. No black supervisors other than other other than your deputy commissioner. Nobody, no, no, nobody is crying foul because they're saying, well, that's the way it is. So if so if black people control the process, this is see, this is the right. problem. Black people control the process. Yeah. And, 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 and we're not and we're not hiring people from the community. Why is that? 
What is what is the what is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? We 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 should be hiring people from our community. We shouldn't look down on them just because maybe their uncle got locked up in 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 the crack era, and then say, "Well, you're you're no good." But you <laughs> but, but you bring a white officer from upstate. They ain't never been around black people, and he exactly. tries county police or white plains police or someplace else, and he give a two shits about the goddamn community. No. This is this is this is my argument. We control the process. Absolutely. As black people. Yeah. And then we and then and this is not, not just Mount Vernon. Right. Atlanta, right. all these black cities, we see police brutality. How do you have police brutality and you have a black mayor? Right? Even a black president under Obama, police was killing black people, black, needed right, more Americans. American than apple pie right. under Obama. <laughs> but we can be supposed to control the process. So what are we doing wrong? What are we doing wrong? And that's the question. Why, why, why can't we control the process and we have people in positions of power and they're right. not controlling the process? Right. And, that, and that makes me mad all the time because we shouldn't be talking about this. If we control the process, then that's shows that somebody else is controlling the process. We're just a black face in the place. Right, right, right. Right. So, um, quick, couple of quick things. Um, quick shout to uh, Nancy Cater Maldonado for listening. And shout to Angela um, Dozier Henry. Um, um, oh, Angela Henry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Angela, how you doing, sis? Love you. And um, and Nancy, you know, that's um, from DJ the DJ Henry case and then DJ Henry's mother, the mom, mother. and then Nancy Maldonado, the mother of Jonathan Maldonado, that was killed oh, in, yeah. by Greenberg Police in 2017. Yeah. Also, Damon, um, and we gotta do this every show, unfortunately. Two people in the questions comments that what the CCRB stand for, please. Uh, CCRB stands for Civilian yeah. Complaint yeah. Review Board. Yeah. So, you know, and, and and for anybody that wants to know about a CCRB, a Civilian Complaint Review Board, there's a national, it's, it's called NANCO, the National Association of Civilian Oversight and Law Enforcement. It's a national association. You, you could go on the website and, and you could call them, you could find out all information on civilian oversight and law enforcement. And then you could see how many cities that are members of NANCO. And, and, and one of the recommendations that we made um, with the CCRB was that they be a member of NANCO because then they run, then, then there's national, there's national standards on, on civilian oversight and law enforcement, those type of boards. So, so I mean, if anybody wants to know, um, it's, called, it's called NANCO, the National Association of Civilian Oversight and Law Enforcement and, and you could go on their website and you could find out a, a, a litany of, 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 of information about civilian oversight um, and CCRBs and what they're supposed to do, how they're supposed to ap operate. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, this is show 268. And if we say it on every show, there'll always be someone on the next show that will ask the question. So we try to always make sure we, you know, give the information. There's always somebody. It's not get stuff like this. Not get down does not trickle down to our community, which was one of the reasons for starting the Do Black Westchester and do this radio show there in the community. So um, shout out to um, Patty Combs. She she um, she was at the rally yesterday. She's tuned in. Um, shout out to Tim Cash. Um, and uh, it was a few other names I saw. Lisa Clark Norman. Um, From the Mothers 2016, they was on your show as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 And Nancy Maldonado, she's a member. And um, yeah, from the Mothers 2016 group. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's that's another exclusive club you'd rather not be a part of. Um, but it is what it is. Yeah. So 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 let, um, let me um I wanna um real quick now. So is there any update 
in your son's case? Like, is there any update of any kind in the last year or so or anything? Yeah, that's a good question. Well, um, I've been had smoke blowing up my ass for a couple of years. <laughs> and um, continuously, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get calls. One thing about me, I have a fake radar. And, 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 and I try to tell people, when you come for me, come correct, I'll respect you more. But don't come to me like I was born yesterday. Or, or I'm one of them, you know, slow people, ignorant, don't understand. Um, but in all reality, uh, no. 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 I, 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 I got a phone call on his anniversary, um, which I think was another smoke screen. You know, like, and, and, and I really think, I truthfully believe that they think that I'm going to disappear. <laughs> Casper don't, it's not related to me. I'm not going to disappear. <laughs> I'm not going to disappear ever. So they should, they I, should I, have I, gotten that message by now. I'm going to keep coming. I, and just like I said, I, when I'm like this, I'm more driven. I'm more driven and I'm not giving up and I'm not giving up not only for me I'm not giving up for the other mothers that's not as verbal as me but going through it the same thing because they're going through it they're just not as verbal as me mm -hmm. you know and if I have to be a spokesperson for the other ones I will do so because for one I fear no one no man chick or child and I'm and, 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 I, and I don't bow down to no one I am my own keeper I make my own choices, and just like I said, if 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 I if I don't speak and the other mothers don't speak, we're supposed to just be sad, depressed, and just you know die off like that. No, no, no. And there's always another level and another step, and I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna keep climbing okay. those steps. Okay. But I'm stronger today, so they better watch out. I know that's right. Get them, nice. Um, Damon, any questions? No, it's, it's seven thirty. So we're gonna wrap up. So what's next for um, what's next for uh, we're closing that. What's next for Save Mount Vernon, and um, for people that are just finding out about Save Mount Vernon, how do they get in touch with y'all if they want to be a part of it or contribute or whatever? Tiff, take that mic, Tiff. You yeah, mic. you know, I, I think that the, the goal right now is, I think we've done enough talk. We know what we got to do. The city knows what they've got to do. I think the focus is more is action. We want to see action. And that's where we are right now. And I think the next thing is the mayor's office, um, the commissioner's office to follow up on our concerns that we've been preaching about. I have on and off. I go back to SIPA back in the late 90s. We've been on and off talking about these things. So right now, what we need is action. We know what we, we, we've been on the steps of City Hall too long. We've been doing this too long. We know what needs to happen. We know what needs to be in place. So I think the time now is to call for action. And I think that the, the next goal is to drive Save Mount Vernon into those offices, into City Hall, on a business day while they're open and shut it down. That's what I want to do. Cause I'm tired of this talking. I'm tired of it. Damon, we had this conversation. Yeah. It's time that we start seeing some action and less talking. Okay. I, I stand on the public safety, public safety transition team and, um, you know, due to Corona, I'm pretty sure Sean got, she has, the mayor has gotten the, um, the um, transcription and everything for recommendations of what we're going to do. Um, I know outside help was recommend, recommended uh, for the unsolved murders. You know, I'm, I'm going to say that right now. So if that's in the play, we'll put it on the table. If not, we're going to follow through, but we're not going to wait for her to say anything. We're not waiting for Glenn Scott to say anything. I have no problem with them, but like I said, we're gonna shake the tree as much as we can and let the apples fall where they fall. All right, me and Tiff will collaborate. We'll talk tomorrow and 
Nas, nice. I appreciate everybody came out yesterday. We're going to shake the tree. I got to thank Nas. Nice. Nice. Um, we are going to get together. Definitely. Yeah, Nas nice is Definitely. awesome, man. I'm telling you, man. She's awesome. So we do have something. Um, we're going to talk about it this week, the next step. Um, that we're going to put pressure. We got to address it. The more pressure we put, the more they'll wake up. No doubt. No doubt. Y'all got to keep it going. I wanted to... Um, uh, I couldn't think of the brother's name. Kevin Shaw, the brother who passed to um, yeah. son, his son. I could I, I just felt bad. I couldn't think of his name. I just shared the link who when, passed? He, when he spoke. Kevin Shaw, the brother who came. Just do him in a car. He is his, his son got killed coming from Sue's, and he spoke oh, at one sure of the rallies. Right. Yeah, well, the after over. after yeah. he made after he came out to one of your rallies because he found out about it and, and came and spoke. He passed yeah. a few months later, yeah. so um, he, um, came, he, he wasn't even invited. He just right. heard about it. He heard about he it. He showed up. up. He showed up, and and he spoke. And he was talking about how they never, he ne he couldn't even get the the, the the items from his from his from his son and personal belongings all these years later, and nobody was getting in touch with him. And 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 Damon was asking yeah. about you know Difficult being in touch with the moms. He was the one that was in was was contacting the police. You know what I'm saying? He was the one that was staying there. They wasn't contacting him. He was the one that kept calling them, and he's not here. And he passed without ever seeing justice for his son. And um, I shared well, the video. Real present. My name is Keena, Keena Shaw. Okay. Real present. Okay. And and and, and if y'all just don't know what I'm talking about, I just shared the link when he spoke at the at, at one of your mm -hmm. rallies for unsolved homicides. He spoke. And um, there's a video of it in, in the comment section y'all can see. So I just shout out to that family. Um, I, I couldn't think of his name, so I just wanted to make sure I brought that up. Um, yo, we have to support organizations like yours. We have to step up. Again, I, I want to close by saying what I said. A lot of the onus is on the residents, on how your community is policed, how your community is governed, how who does what in your community. If you don't care enough to get involved, then no one's going to care enough to do anything for you. Exactly. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's 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 a particip participatory sport. You don't vote and go to sleep for four years and then come back again four years later. You have to stay. You are you are a big part of the process. You have to go to your council meetings. You you you, you complain about the schools. You got to go to your school board meetings and make your voice a voice heard. Um, you got to take part in these elections. You got to find out who these candidates are. One of the most important elections we just had was Westchester DA um, for the county. One of the most important elections we're gonna have coming up is for, for Mount Vernon is for the is for the controller. Now we need to get that right, or we dealing with another four years of this 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 nonsense we've been having going on in City Hall for for the last whatever. So you know we we have to be involved, and and you have to speak up. There's things you can do if you're not going to be like Jesse and speak out like that and be, be like Nas and speak right. out. You can write letters. You can call the elected officials. You can show up at the city council meetings. There's a lot of things you can do, but you have the power. If you want change, Obama said, be the change you want to see. You understand what I'm saying? You have to be involved. And we got to stop waiting for a savior to come in and save Mount Vernon. Pun intended. You understand what I'm saying? We have to start saving ourselves. We have to commute. Exactly. And, 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 and I want to say lastly, I said this but, recently, I want to say this. For all of the killing that's going on out there right now, yo, you know, white media might not be able to say it the way I'm about to say it, but I, and I don't care if I lose some of y'all here. We have to stop killing each other. Exactly. Right now, for all of the movement that is going on nationwide and, 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 and internationally, talking about criminal justice reform, passing uh, police criminality laws, talking about the funding police, yeah. you're ruining all of that, giving the police an excuse to say, this is why we do that, because look, look how many people just got killed over the weekend. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, you, 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 you. We're, we're, uh, a lot of our problems are self-inflicted and we have to sit there and look at it and address it ourselves before we expect somebody else in here to come and save us. No matter who's in that main chair and who's in city hall, if we ain't doing nothing for ourselves, these problems existed. Damon named how many mayors? Blackwood, Ernie, Clinton, Ernie again, Richie, 
Andre for a couple of months, now Sean, we're still having the same problem. <laughs> so it's not the mayor. We've had a series it's of, not. It's of city the council people, people who put the mayor in. Right, right. We had a plethora of city council people. It's not just the city council. We have another controller now. It's not True. just the controller. But we have to be more responsible you know? when we do it our votes and stop letting the Democratic Party say, yeah, this is the person you all should vote for and y'all just vote. Throw A all the way, and, and that's, that's part of the show. Let's don't start that. We be here another. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I, I I just want to throw that in there. But anyway, um, that's it, yo, David. Any last words? And if not, I'm closing it out. Uh, I want to. I want to thank. I want to thank Jesse for for continuing to. Yeah, to, absolutely. To be out there, man. Um, be pushing, brother. You know, um, sometimes I'm not out there, but we talk, and yes. I do what I have to do on my end. To, to 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 help you out whatever I can, and I'm sitting back, man. Definitely. And when I come out, I'm coming out to noble, right? Because I'm just <laughs> watching. I'm just watching. Um, Nas, thank you for being a sister. Thank you being like family, and and thank you for being out there, man. Taking your pain and making a passion. And I always told you, once you start speaking. The, the everybody's going to listen. Absolutely. Uh, you know, thank and, you. I thank you. I thank AJ. I thank my Black yeah. Sister family. I thank Ati. I yeah. thank Cynthia. Because y'all been loyal. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Super loyal. And, and, and not there just for the moment or just for, you know, to, 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 to show your face and take some pictures and stuff. Y'all been there walking with me through this step by step. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all, like, and I, I, I'm an appreciative person, and, and I, I will never forget, you know what I mean? And, and I, I appreciate all of y'all, all of y'all. Well, we appreciate you too. We got both y'all, you got Save My Vernon, we got your back. Um, Before I go, the rally that was scheduled for Friday in White Plains will be taking place Wednesday, this Wednesday, 6 p.m., rally for Black Lives Lost. We will hear from the family members of those whose lives were lost in the hand of law enforcement. And the rally that was supposed to be at two o'clock yesterday, um, the Iona Prep Four. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Black Westchester and see them four young men that, that, that them students that were bold enough to speak up about the racism, systematic racism and discrimination they faced the entire four years at at own prep and they got to the point that they got tired of being silenced and they're not and they're speaking up. Their their rally, we all need to get behind them. Their rally that was yesterday has been postponed till Friday. I will check Black Westchester social media. I will have flyers up for all of that. And I think there's a children um children rally, black children lives matter that Cynthia not um, Nesta, Tasha Young. I'm not sure if Nas is involved, if you're involved in that, but that's going to be somewhere at Brush Park, and that's coming up too. Look for all those flyers, support all the rallies. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in as we approach our six year anniversary. Um, thank you for everybody who. Happy thanked anniversary, us. BW. Happy thank anniversary. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, everybody who um, thanked us and uh, congratulated us on the award. We won from the local media association digital um, media initiative for best website. Um, I'm out of here. And um, with that, we're <laughs> out. We're, we're all out. With that, we're all out. <laughs> Thank you, Damon. Thank you, AJ. All right, Tiff. All right, nice. all right, yeah. Yeah. All right. Appreciate you. AJ, all you're right. closing. Right. You could be anywhere else. <laughs> oh, ok't <okay>. Yo, we... <laughs> We thank everybody for tuning in. You could have been done, you could have been anywhere else, but you chose to ride with us. This is Black Westchester presents the People for Politics Radio Show every Sunday, six to eight. We didn't go exactly to eight today, but um, six to eight on our uh, um, this is our COVID nineteen edition, the home edition. Um, uh, until next week, peace. Peace.